Live from Las Vegas, it's theCUBE, covering AWS reInvent 2019. Brought to you by Amazon Web Services and Intel, along with its ecosystem partners. Welcome back to Las Vegas, everybody watching theCUBE. We go out to the events and we extract the signal from the noise. My name is Dave Vellante, and I'm excited to have Veeam on the program. Uh, good friend Rick Van Over is here. Rick, it's great to see you again. Thanks, he's, Dave. Uh, he's the Senior Director of Product Strategy at, uh, at, at Veeam, and Jim Kruger uh, is the, uh, the new, newly minted, minted CMO. Jim, good to see you. Thanks great. for coming Thank on. Thank you, Dave. Thanks for having us. All right, so uh, let's talk about reInvent. Um, you know, you guys are well known in sort of like the VMware community, of course. Yeah. Now the cloud comes in, you guys rose like a rocket ship with virtualization. Now cloud's here. How's the show going for you? What are the conversations like? Yeah, it's great. I mean, this is a continuation of uh, the, uh, the relationship that we have with AWS. Uh, we were a, a global sponsor of one of five companies uh, represented in their global summits. So this was, that was kind of a lead up to yeah. this. Uh, so Which it's today, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, this morning the, the partner summit. Oh, the earlier. The, you know, yeah, the, yeah. throughout the whole year, there's yeah, like right. 30 different locations throughout the world that we sponsored, and so that was uh, really a good entree into this new audience for us um, in terms of new buyers and so forth. And, and reInvent is is huge. I mean, it's, uh, you can't even walk in the hallways out there. Our booth has been packed, and uh, just some really good conversations. We had a great announcement uh, uh, as a part of the show. So we'll it's talk good. about it's that for great. sure. Yeah. So give us the update on 2019. You guys hit the billion dollar milestone. We covered you at uh, at Veeamon. We've been there for the last couple of years. So congratulations on that. Thank you. Which of course is challenging because you, you you're doing a lot more annual recurring revenue. So you yeah. we're still able to break through that that billion dollar mark. But give us the update yeah. on 2019. Yeah, so, uh, so far so good, it's going well. Um, you know, we're going through a transition here. We call it Act One to Act Two. And Act One was, um, was really the foundation of the company uh, focusing on virtual environments. Act Two is really moving into the cloud and also moving from perpetual to subscription. And so we're going through that transition uh, as we speak and um, we're finding really good success. Uh, we're you know, really letting the market dictate that transi transition. We're not really forcing things on customers. Uh, but uh, we had a really good Q3. Uh, we grew our annual recurring revenue by 24%. Um, our enterprise business is actually the fastest growing uh, business within Veeam. It's growing at, uh, to grew 20% year over year. Uh, and our alliances are really on fire. Year over year for our alliances, for our resellers, we have four of them, uh, grew 92%. Uh, so we're, we're outgrowing the market significantly, continuing to gain market share. Uh, we're still number one in Europe and number four uh, globally, but catching up quick. So Rick, I always, you know, when I first was introduced to Veeam, I think it was at some Veeamug somewhere. Like, what? it's an interesting name, who are these guys? And then saw you guys take off and it coincided with a, a big simplification theme which, and, and, and better resource allocation. We had all this wasted server capacity. But the problem was when we consolidated all those servers, we now had you know, less utilization or less capacity to drive things like backup, right. which, was a, which was a compute hungry sure. you know, workload. You guys figured that out from a product standpoint. You simplified things and you, you took off. So check, great job. Now there's cloud. So what's different about cloud? You guys have some announcements. What are you doing to sort of take advantage of, of the cloud? Well, so our cloud journey, Dave, is, is starting, but it's actually evolving from some technologies that have been out for a while. So actually, earlier this year, this isn't new, but we implemented a technology that puts data into the cloud, which is kind of a very important first step. Backup data into the cloud, very transparent, very easy to do with Veeam. But everything's different in the cloud. I think the, the plumbing's different, the use cases are different, the expectations of customers are different. So when we look at how we're going to go into a market from, from a product standpoint, my team works with Jim's team as well as the product management team on this very, very purposefully, but the thought is we need to put in the right platform and the right capabilities for the cloud. So that's the big news today here at AWS reInvent and yesterday uh, we had a great session today where we showed off the new product, Veeam Backup for AWS, and, and it, we have been through a lot of iterations on how we're going to get to this milestone and I'm really stoked that it was available for this event, live in the marketplace. And, and I think about why we're going to go with this new product now this way. 
uh, Ratmir, our co-founder, uh, likes to say he wants to capture the hearts and minds of IT pros. And this product will do it. File level recovery, free edition, easy, it just works. Whatever you want to say, we've got it in this product. So I, I'm really hoping that this will be the year of an, of an additional disruption as we kick off Act Two that Jim mentioned. Yeah, you guys have always been feature rich. So I, 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 I've been sharing with, uh, with you, our audience, the spending data that I have access to. And, and when you look at it, and you look at spending momentum, you know, it shows some of the new guys, obviously wouldn't be surprised, right? You're seeing some people experimenting, and, and okay, that's cool, but, and then some of the legacy guys, you see sort of, you know, they're hanging on to the install base. Veeam, interestingly, is right there with the leaders, uh, and, but really consistent spending momentum for, you know, years. And so my question is, you know, how is that, why are you able to sustain that momentum over time? What is your sort of unique approach? Yeah, I mean, I, th I think there's a couple of key factors there um, that uh, we've done as a business. One of, the, one of the key strategies of the company is to remain agnostic and to build partnerships. And so one of the key strategies that we've had over the past few years uh, is to work with partners. And so we've done, you know, go to market, uh, some engineering work, and as I mentioned, in Q3 alone, we saw 92% year over year growth. And so that's helping us to, to drive growth. We've added some new products. Uh, so we have a backup for Microsoft Office 365, uh, which um, is a whole new market for us. And we're seeing um, tremendous growth there uh, year over year. So that's helping us to keep, keep steady. Uh, and then just the innovation engine. Um, the, the development team that we have is, uh, one of the reasons why I joined Veeam is because of the, of, of the, the innovation and, and the development team and how they approach the market. Uh, in terms of really focusing on the user uh, and building products that aren't just a checkbox, uh, but the products that add a tremendous amount of value. And so, and we have a new, we made announcements here with specifically with AWS, uh, but to continue our innovation track, we have a new release that's coming out uh, in the January timeframe called version 10, which adds another 150 plus capabilities. Uh, and so I think that's one of the biggest reasons we continue to add value uh, to uh, to the system and to our customers. We're adding between three to 4,000 new customers a month, uh, and our customer count is continuing to, you know, we're at 365,000 customers uh, today and, and growing fast. So, Rick, I wonder if you could talk from a product standpoint. Uh, I, I said, you know, virtualization, I'm generalizing in cloud. There's specific things for VMware, obviously, that you do, and, and I presumably the same thing for clouds. What's unique about well, first of all, your relationship with AWS and what's unique about sort of making your software work in the AWS you know, ecosystem? Well, the unique part is, is really our go-to-market of partnering first. I'd like to say that partnership is in Veeam's DNA. You know, we sell through the channel and we have the alliance relationships, we have the platform relationships like AWS as well as other clouds. And the thought here is that by going in software only, I am actually completely convinced we're very well positioned in the market to come in with a solution that will work for literally everybody, no matter what their preference, what brands of technology they use, what clouds they use. And so I think about what becomes interesting, what becomes unique with that, and I'll give you an Amazon example, and this is something that's coming in the version 10 that Jim alluded to. Amazon has a capability called object lock, which can be used for immutable backups or immutable data, we're using it for backups. And that's something that we're going to leverage in our upcoming release that is actually going to be like a huge thing, a huge amount of capabilities where organizations can have their backup data resilient against ransomware, resilient against malicious admins, insider threats or accidental deletion. And that is only possible in the cloud. So like we're walking into a situation where Veeam, if we're going to leverage S3 and some of these capabilities provided by Amazon, along with our laser focused approach for backups, we're going to give the market some things that honestly it'd be really hard to say no to. So, so can you talk more about that, that immutability capability? Yeah. Timestamp that and then oh, it's, it's, cost the old stuff? It's, it's smarter than a timestamp actually. The thought here is that there's this governance and compliance mode that comes with AWS S3 storage, which is a property of a bucket that's set at the top level. And from an API standpoint, when an ISV like Veeam wants to put data into S3, that along with a lot of other elements of, of the consumption of the storage can be set. And what we're doing is we're actually working backwards into the user interface, and if I want to put my backup data into S3, 
I'm actually going to say, make this data immutable, meaning unable to be deleted or changed. Well, actually, you can't change in S3, it's only a delete. But anyways, you can't delete it. So the thought is, I'm going to put, I'm just going to make up an example, Dave, seven days into S3, mark it as immutable. Yeah. No matter what, that data cannot be removed. So you got a policy on it. Yeah, and it's, it's, it's there. It will not be deleted. No ransomware, no malicious admin, no insider threat. And then we're doing it with a lot of API intelligence, so it's very efficient on, on how it goes in there and shared metadata. Uh, we just did a session on part of that today and we're going to have a huge splash event in, in January where we take it to the market. So, you know, if anybody listening is going to be concerned about ransomware, Veeam has a technology that's evolving for you. So I can set my RPO to whatever I want based yeah. on my objectives for the business, the cost equation. Yeah, and, it, and it's actually it, transparent to that. To me, it's a restore point, but I have this ability to sleep at night because I know that it's, it's in Amazon and it's object locked and I can't do anything to it. Yeah, but that was seven days ago, so I now want to, I now want to update it, right? Uh, so, so you've set a policy to say, okay. Yeah, so the, the eighth day, the backup will go and day one will drop and then we'll be at two through eight and then the next day, three through nine, you know, it'll just, it'll be a window of sorts and uh, the best part is, Dave, it's going to be transparent. It's, it's in the user interface. It's a restore point. And the ease of use, you know, I look at the product team and we, we really have this mantra simple, reliable, and flexible. And who doesn't want those types of capabilities in a product today? And actually it works backwards to one of our co-founders, Andre likes to say, he, his expectation is somebody can download the product and do their first backup within 10 minutes the, without using the manual. The ease of use has to be like that. And with the newest product uh, from Monday, we're doing it again. So Jim, I wonder if I could uh, ask you about just sort of messaging. It's interesting, yeah. it was interesting yeah. to see it Veeam on. You guys kind of got back to basics. Like there's a lot of money flowing into the data protection industry. Yeah. You're still seeing new startups. Storage overall is you know, a little soft right now because the cloud's eating away at the big guys, but data protection's still pretty hot. Yeah. Um, as evidenced by some of the spending data that I talked about. A lot of guys talking about data management. You talk about data management too, but you got back to the basics at Vmon. You talked yeah. about, you know, it starts with backup. Yeah. I wonder if you could talk about that messaging and, and then how that does relate to some of the, you know, new use cases. And yeah. you mentioned some, but yeah, yeah, absolutely. what's your point of so, view there? Yeah, so no, that is a, a key initiative for us in 2020 is to, to shift from kind of the pure speeds and feeds and features uh, and talk more about use cases. Uh, so you'll see that come out kind of across our portfolio. Uh, that's one of our key marketing initiatives. Uh, but uh, yeah, the, the, the messaging, you know, we did, um, uh, back in the beginning of 2018, I think we over-rotated a little bit uh, and focused a little bit too much on the enterprise. Uh, and as you know, our business is, is, is very spread across multiple segments, from SMB uh, to commercial to enterprise. And uh, enterprise is, of course, you know, the, 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 uh, the key market that we want to go after, but we have this great business uh, at the lower end of the market, which I think is, is unique and um, a differentiator for Veeam in terms of the number of customers that we have and the customer base that we have. Uh, so what we've done is gone back to using words like backup because there's budget for backup. And that's a, that's a word that people automatically know what it means, so you don't want to get too cute about it. Uh, so we've come out with a new campaign around uh, cloud data management, backup for what's next, and we're pushing that really hard because I think a lot of people know Veeam as the, the virtual uh, leader, and now we're moving into the cloud area, so it's important for us to position the company uh, to not only virtual, but virtual, physical, and cloud, and so you're going to see a lot more push into the cloud with the new solutions we're launching. Uh, and, uh, and, and pushing that hard in 2020. You know, V's always had strong, no BS engineering, you know, the tagline, it just works, it's true, you talk to your customers. And it's interesting, when you, when you go to Veeam on, and I've been to several, you're right. I mean, you've got guys there that are loyal to Veeam. Um, they, they, they may not be, you know, huge uh, buyers of, of just in terms of, you know, ASPs, but there's a zillion of them, yep. and they're very loyal, and yes. I think a smart strategy you just keep moving up markets. You guys are like steady Eddie. Uh, give us, last question, sort of 2020, what should we expect from you guys? We got Veeam on, theCUBE's going to be there. We're excited, it's always a fun show. Yeah. You get a passionate crowd. Yeah, and, yeah, uh, yeah. So, um, yeah, so we have some exciting announcements uh, that we're going to be making uh, in the first of the year and sort of in the mid part of the year, uh, which we think are going to be game changers and uh, continue us on the trajectory of growth. 
Uh, so we're very excited about that, and uh, yeah, continuing to, to focus on satisfying our customers. Uh, we're super proud of our net promoter score of 75, uh, which is three times, three and a half times the industry, and uh, so keeping that momentum going with our customers is critically important. Well guys, congratulations on all your success. Uh, you, know, great, you mentioned your NPS, great customer loyalty, the billion dollar milestone. You know, Ratmir is on, he's on the record la last year at, at Vmont saying, hey, no, we're open to IPO, so we'll be watching that and, uh, and we'll ask him. We won't, we won't hit you with that. But guys, thanks so much for coming on. All right, thank you, Dave. Jim, Rick, good to see you. Thank you. All right, and thank you everybody for watching. This is theCUBE live from AWS reInvent 2019 from Las Vegas. We'll be right back right after this short break.